So if you have a lot of tools like me, it's very easy to lose track of them and, and let them get rusty out in the shed or whatever. There's two main methods to keeping the tools from getting rusty. One is to use them. Like I'd consider these two wrenches right here in pretty good shape because I just use them a lot. They're, sure, there's a little bit of gunk on the surface, but it doesn't have to be shiny. I don't think it was shiny when it was first made. Meanwhile, these ones, I haven't used them very much. And this one, I use it pretty often, but I forgot it outside, so it got a little bit of rusty. So one of the best wet methods to clean one of these is a wire brush. And as you can see right here, I've, I've, I've wire brushed half of this pair of pliers. These pliers are from the 1950s. And these ones from about 1910 or so, I've never cleaned. I don't think even my great-grandfather cleaned them when, when he had them. So let's run all these tools through the wire brush and see how they look. Now I know I said I wasn't going to clean these because they looked okay, but I am going to clean the little screws in here because they didn't clean up nearly as much as the rest of it just from use. So if I clean up the screws that'll make it easier to open and close and adjust the wrenches. Well, I have to say this looks really nice. I didn't get rid of all the rust, but oh well. I think this one turned out nice too. And I think I was wrong about these pliers. I think my great-grandfather probably did clean them because I just I noticed that it's a, just an, a regular bolt holding it through that he mashed down. So chances are he probably found this in his garden because the lot that he bought for his garden used to be a, like, like a theater back in the 1850s and then it was just a garbage dump for a hundred years or so. So there was mountains of garbage just above and below ground, and so he, he was always finding stuff in his garden. So chances are he probably found this really crusty, kind of like that, that really nasty pipe wrench I, I recently uh, fixed. And he probably fixed it up and used it as one of his regular tools, judging by all the pitting and stuff like that. But who knows? 
These came out really nice too. Well, I hope you enjoyed this very boring video. See ya!